Good morning, awesome comic collecting community. Got a bit of a weird one here, um, mail call, so it's just going to be a quick video. Um, but this particular one's a bit of a heart stopping moment, really, because I um, bought this a few days ago, a uh, message of the seller, and said, um, Have you posted it yet? And he said, Yep, yeah, no worries, I have done. Here's the tracking number. Um, and he got back to me sort of like late yesterday afternoon, evening, sorry, not afternoon. Uh, so I inputted the tracking number in my Royal Mail app and it said delivered, signed for 8.42am that morning. Oh well, no worries, it's, it's at work somewhere uh, and nobody knew a thing about it. So basically, uh, you know, a high value comic book has gone missing. So, oh, you know, I'm stressing out, stressing out. And then the mail guy comes today and he drops off the package which he signed for yesterday. How are they allowed to get away with doing that? Beyond me. Anyway, that's the, the crux of that heart-stopping moment. Now, the seller has packaged this book really, really well. And I haven't got a safe implement to cut the package open. So you might actually see on this video the destruction of a high value comic book. So, I mean, me and Simon, Simply Simon, great channel, check him out, are always joking with each other about how I cut my books open. Um, I'm going to have to do this very, very gently and, you know, kind of like tease the book out. Uh, normally, what I tend to do is save time and, and try and cut most of these out. Pre-doing the video to save some time. Right, so now I can actually see what I'm working with. Okay, I mean it's packed really, really well. Right, so that's when I extend the blade. I'm sorry, I keep looking over there. It's because Apple, when you design these iPads, I am full of moans, I am sorry. I'm of that age. They put the cam in the corner. Why on earth would you put the cam in the left-hand part of the, the damn device? Put it on the bloody top top edge or something like that, you know? Because otherwise I'm not engaging with my audience. You lovely people. So, it's a design flaw they need to sort out. Believe me, you young'uns, when you get to my age, you're going to be moaning just as much as I am. About the coffee doesn't taste like how it used to. You'll be moaning about the state of the world. You'll be moaning about your comic books going missing. Right, that's great. I'm almost in. Peel back the corners. Put the knife down for now. Great. Okay, now just to zip through this lot. Use pressure, push open, in, just cut the sellotape. Ping, ping. All right, still can't release it, so same there. Same there. Yay, right. I can just gently take that off. Yeah, I have to admire the seller's packaging. Really good. Okay, so what we have here, guys and gals, is Creepy Worlds, number three, another early one, not a bad condition book, you know, I, normally I try and take off things which have been added in years previous, but I think I'm going to leave this on, 12 and a half pence covered, covering over the shilling uh, price tag, but uh, yeah, I like that. That's another one of the early issues. Ticked off the list. 
Spine has seen better days, but it's not destroyed as such, it's just bent. So I might be able to tease that out actually. So uh, yeah, that's nice. Another one to the, the arsenal of collecting Allen class issues. So, uh, what else have I got to talk to you about today? Um, yeah, the, I mean, the last Creepy Worlds... Put the blade away, Ken. The last Creepy Worlds video I did, uh, which is the one directly previous to this one, uh, very high value items uh, and very scarce. I blanked out the title, I didn't add that till later. And incidentally, that not clickbaity title, because I put it down as something like um, High Value Foreign Comics Mystery Hall or something like that. It's one of the videos I've done now where it's got like the highest amount of views. And I'm kind of feeling like I should really. I don't really like it, but like put a clickbaity title on each video I do. Just encourage more people to. to view the stuff I produce but um, you know the little demon in me says yeah that's a good way to go you'll get you'll encourage more more viewers and more likes uh, but the sensible person on my other shoulder is saying uh, people really want to see what you're offering them so um, with this particular one I am just gonna put you know creepy worlds number three below and also on the header of the video Anyhow, isn't that great? I love that. Okay, I'm just trying to <laughs> make out what that says. It's obviously something water, isn't it? But the way it's uh, printed on the book doesn't quite look like that. Hmm. Anyhow, guys and gals, as per usual, thanks for pressing the play button. Uh, hopefully you're going to like this video. And, uh, you know, really love you to subscribe if this is the first time you've seen this face. And watch this video. There's plenty more of collecting from this genre as we move forward. And obviously with the weekend coming up, that's when I do my show and tell videos where I pick a certain series. And go right the way through it from beginning to end. Um, fantastic everybody, so I shall see you on the next video. Bye for now.